um, getting back to my career, after I was finished flight instructing, I went on to charter flying, corporate flying, and was hired in uh, 1987 by American Airlines. I'm currently a captain flying the MD-80 with American Airlines, um, based in New York. Um, that's what I do for a living. And in my, my world, as I think so many of ours are, are just entrenched in aviation. It's what we do. We wake up, we think about airplanes or flying or building or something. Through the day we think about it, we go to bed thinking about it, we watch TV shows about it, we come here and we talk to our friends about it. Um, I don't know how many of you have seen me at air shows. I don't get out to California at all, but, but if any of you are air show fans, keep an eye on my website, mattchapman.com. I am making a California and Southwestern swing in 2010. So uh, if you get to see me at an air show, be sure to stop by, say hello, um, you know, let me know what, uh, that you're a model airplane flyer. I always try to make extra time for model airplane guys and, and girls and, uh, and try and share some more stories. In my spare time, I'm restoring a Buker Youngman, a 1946 uh, Spanish airplane. It's an open cockpit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a Buker Youngman. However, that's my 35% scale model that is um, just about to be painted and detailed out. We're going to try and get it ready, and then I've got to wiggle my way into an invitation for Top Gun and compete with my Buker. Uh, but I have a full scale Buker Youngman that I'm restoring. Um, I've been doing it forever, I think, probably about nine or ten years now. And my naked cap on the way home from the paint shop before putting Embry-Riddle on it. That day broke my heart. I hate that photograph. But um, the, uh, I forget where I was going with this. Yeah, airline pilot. <laughs> but uh, no, that, that's just, that's, that's bothering me. <laughs> um, the, oh, the Buker. The cool thing with the Buker, um, after, I, I should have mentioned this, when I was interviewing Neil Williams uh, for my ninth grade English project, he extended an invitation for me to come back out to the airport in the springtime and fly with him in his newly acquired Buker Youngman. Um, so we, my dad and, and I drove out to Buker, Air, Buker Airdrome and uh, got my very first aerobatic ride with Neil Williams in a Buker. And the cool thing is, here I am all these years later, restoring the same kind of airplane I got my very first aerobatic ride in. To me, that's, that's really cool. That just, it, it, it's come full circle. Um, I, I sit here today, and I feel a lot better today about being here than I did yesterday. I, I was walking around, and I'm, I was sitting in the crowd listening to some of the other speakers, and there were no kids here. And our future in aviation, and our future as the AMA, is to get kids involved in, in model aviation. Um, I, I realized yesterday, listening to Tom, how much work you put in to getting kids into model airplane flying. And it made me realize how little I do when I'm at my field or in my community to get kids involved. And I think it's really imperative, for me anyway, when I leave here, I've got to I think reinstill my own values in trying to get kids involved in model airplane flying. Because really without the kids, where's the AMA going to be in 20 years? Because we're all getting older. Um, so I know the next time I see a kid at the model airplane field and he's struggling or he needs help, I'm going to make a promise to myself to make sure that kid and that dad go home with the help they need to successfully complete and fly their model airplane. I'd, I'd like to think and I'd like to challenge all of you to maybe do the same thing.